Hey everyone, I'm Dan from the Hustle Couple. I'm coming at you today with a what's sold over the weekend on eBay, Poshmark, and Curtsy. How's everybody doing today? Welcome back. It is welcome back. It's Monday for me. Probably Tuesday or Wednesday for you. We'll see how that goes. Um How's everybody doing? Amy's back working Dr. Phil. They are filming all this week, so she'll be there today, tomorrow, and Wednesday for sure. Maybe more. Maybe they'll have her picking up over the weekend again. We'll see what happens. Um, all right. We have a couple of – we had two back-to-back -back curtsy sales, which was new for us. Uh, one was kind of – Okay, the other one was much better. This is the first one that sold. Uh, it was the Alice and Olivia, women's size extra small. Uh, blouse, polka dot, layered top, white with pink tint. Uh, this sold for 15 bucks. Uh, if, you, if you're not familiar with Curtsy, I wasn't up until recently. It is just another... Uh, plat sales platform that's out there, but you can uh, you can sync your Poshmark closet to it. So that's that's what we did. I didn't individually list over there. I didn't. Um, where's the ticket? I didn't um, cross list using Vendu. Uh, I don't. Vendu doesn't currently support Curtsy as far as cross listing goes. But like I said, I just synced it to my Poshmark closet. So it imported all of my listings from Poshmark, and I'm not sure how often it syncs, but it will detect the sale on Curtsy, and it should take it down from Poshmark. And that theoretically should mark it sold on Bendu. We'll find out. I'll check. I'll check and let you know if that happens. So let me make a new ticket for this real quick. Somebody's lawn people are somewhere. I hope that's not too loud. <laughs> Seems like there's always something happening and making noise in the background. Okay. Got my ticket. Going grab advantage. I still need to figure out how to change my um, shipping on curtsy. If you can do that in a bulk way, if anybody knows, please let me know. I know it's something I could easily do myself. I just I haven't done it yet. Sorry. <laughs> Right now, everything's going up free shipping. All right, next to go on Curtsy was, like I said, this one was a slightly better sale. This is the Land's End women's size large dress, cotton modal, three quarter sleeve, fit and flare pockets, new. Uh, this sold for 30 bucks. Uh, and we've got $3.33. Is our cost of goods on that guy? I think I picked this up, or we picked this up for a couple of reasons. Lands Lands End as a brand in general was like selling decently well for us, and this was new with tags. So, oh, where's the tag picture? There it is. That would help if I. Scrolled it in the right. There we go. Right direction. All right. 30 bucks and it's out of here. <clears throat> All right. That was the two. 
curtsy sales. Now we got some Poshmark stuff to pack up. Let's see, first one to go was this pair of Democracy uh, women's size eight Absolution jeans, uh, stretch medium wash denim mid rise. They sold for twenty five bucks. Uh, we've got three dollars into them, and this is the the same as. Uh, yeah, this is the, the line that Amy's always talking about that she picks up for, for quick flips. The Democracy Ab Solution, or Ab Technology. It's, it's the same. So it's got the black, stretchy waistband. And they sell right around 25 bucks. So if we got them for three bucks, so... Decent. That's a decent turnaround. Like, like Amy says, you're not going to get rich off selling these, but they will, they will convert. Right. Next thing was this pair of Christian Siriano J. Jill pants, size 12 P, petite, lavender wide leg trouser belt. Uh, we picked these up for 99 cents. So they either they must have came from the bins, I guess. Uh, and they sold for a massive thirteen dollars. <laughs> eh, I thought I thought the collab would be would be worth something, but no. Turns out it was worth thirteen dollars. That's what somebody was willing to pay for them. And like I said, we've been in a keeps keep sales going, take almost any and all offers. Like I said, there's been a couple that come in where I just can't do it. It seems like every offer that's been coming in lately has been starting at 50%. And it's man, it's just it's a try not to let it get to me. That's all I'm going to say. <laughs> it's disheartening a little bit. All right. Next thing to go on Poshmark was another. This is almost the same exact color as those pants. Uh, this is the Theory Women's Size Medium Ruffle Shell Blouse Top bleh, Blush Pink 100% Silk Career Staple. Uh, this sold for 15 bucks, And we've got a dollar into it. So. Theory makes really, really nice, good stuff. Um, but not necessarily every piece is going to command a high resale price. Um, the retail price of Theory is pretty expensive. Even at like Nordstrom Rack, there's like, you can spend like, you know, 100 bucks on a shirt probably. Next thing is this is a Notori women's size 34 triple D vivid full fit contour underwire bra black lace. Uh, this sold for $27. Uh, okay, cost of goods says zero on the ticket. That's cool. We'll take free. Uh, Notori is a pretty good brand uh they make a lot of we find a lot of sleepwear and like robes and pajama sets and stuff from them that's what the brand tag looks like not bad for almost 30 bucks there One more, one more for Poshmark. 
Um, it is this pair of airy women's size eight fuzzy slipper sandals, slides gray, brand new. They also sold for 15 bucks. Uh, so we've got a dollar into these. So these came from the bins as well. And I am just happy, happy to get, to get them out of here. I did do some listing today, trying to uh, get it into my daily, daily, uh, you know, things I do on a daily basis so that we can try to keep these sales, you know, keep them going somewhat consistently. All right, that was it for Poshmark. And let's move along to eBay. We did 14 over the weekend, which if you've been watching for a while, when when we were both working full time and listing like, you know, thir at least 20 to 30 things every single day, um, we would come on here on a Monday and have like 50 to 60 packages to ship out. And not happening currently, but like I said, I'm not complaining about it. Not at all. All right. First thing to go on eBay. Come on here. It was There we go. This pair of uh, Banana Republic. Women's size 29P Petite. Lux Satin Faux Leather Pants Stretch New. They were listed for $29.71. Uh, cost of goods was $0.99. Cents. So, and they sold for $19. Bucks. So there's the newest tags. Banana Republic. I just looked them up either. I can't remember if the name was on the tag or if I just looked them up by style number. But that is the exact name of the pants. So. They picked expedited shipping, so these are getting put into a flat right envelope. Okay. Next up is a marine layer pair of pants. Yeah, this is the marine layer women's size extra small pants pull on notch hem stretch blue white striped blue and white striped stuff is still still going okay uh these were listed at 25.46 the dollar cost of goods and they sold for 25.46 nice I'm just getting ready for yacht season. <laughs> Here's the marine layer tag. And let's go over it. Going too fast. I'm going too fast. Forgetting to write stuff down over here. That's not good. Okay, these are nine ounces. All right, next up is this J. Jill women's size large sweater, blue, white diamond print, kangaroo pockets pullover. Uh, list, listed at twenty five forty six, and sold for twenty five forty six. Love it when stuff sells for a listing listed price. That's great. Don't have to take. Don't have to mess with offers. J. Jill is definitely one of our um, bread and butter brands. 
Uh, if you can find it cheap enough, it'll it'll flip for you. We paid three eighty was our average cost of goods this trip, so under four bucks. Eh, decent. <clears throat> under three bucks would be better. All right. Next up on eBay is uh, sold another bra. This is the body by Weckle. Uh, women's size 34C tea bag underwire bra, beige style 65124. Listed at 2546 uh, and sold for 20 bucks. I feel like we just sold another bra from this brand like two days ago. It was very recent, very recent. Okay, this is way too big. There we go. This is what I'm looking for. So that guy and okay, where are we at here? Next up, get ready. I know you're shocked. Chico's pants, <laughs> women's size uh, 0 0.5 US 6 Juliet. So slimming ankle pants, floral stretch. New, these are very, very floral. Wow. Um, listed at thirty three ninety six, and sold for twenty dollars and one cent. Twenty dollars and one cent. Okay. There's the she goes new with tags. Uh, there you go, thirty four bucks. Pretty decent for a pair of Chico's pants. So maybe them being new helped a little bit. Usually, like on, on tops and stuff, new with tags or not, really doesn't make that big of a difference on like the basic stuff. Jackets and stuff, yeah, I'm sure, you know, it'll help out a little bit. Okay, flat rate envelope. Here we go. Next up, uh, I feel like everything Amy recently talked about in our haul video is is starting to, to go. Uh, this is a Chico's Platinum, women's size 3, U.S. extra large denim utility jacket, blue cotton stretch. Uh, she said, in pretty sure in the haul video I put up today, uh, denim jackets, jean jackets are, are back. So if you've got unlisted jean jackets or haven't been picking them up, you may want to start thinking about grabbing a couple if you can get them cheap. Uh, we got this one for five bucks. Uh, it was listed at forty-two forty-six, and what it sell for? Let's see, forty-two forty-six. For Chico's jean jacket, yes. Take that. All right. All right. Next up is a. This is a really nice brand, St. John. Uh, women's size small tunic sweater, black santana knit, stretch boat neck, three quarter sleeve. Um, but this is like a basic, so we only had it listed for forty bucks. Uh, cost of goods was three fifty nine, 
and this ended up selling on a best offer for $26.01. But yeah, just a basic Santana net uh, sweater. Here's the St. John basics. There you go. <laughs> Six tag. So again, not everything from you know these super high end luxury brands is going to necessarily sell for crazy big money. There we go. All right. Next up, oh right, Eileen Fisher. It's the Eileen Fisher size medium tunic top, pin tuck, viscose jersey, melange, long sleeve black. Uh, this was listed at twenty seven seventeen. And sold for full price twenty seven seventeen. This is a higher cost of goods, uh, six fifty nine for this. So it's still really nice, though, man. Here it goes the Eileen Fisher tag. All of her stuff is mostly really simple capsule wardrobe type stuff. Going down advantage. But it is one of our favorite brands to sell. For sure. It's getting harder to find, though, for me anyway. Next thing to sell on eBay was the pair of Talbots, women's size 12 capri pants, paisley pastel cotton stretch front zip. And very, again, very, very paisley. Uh, they were listed at $25.46, got a dollar cost of goods, and they sold at $20.37. All right, the buyer selected ground advantage for these also at $5.99. Where are these going? Georgia. Okay, this should be should be cheaper than a flat rate envelope, even if they're over, you know, over a pound. Let's see here. And they're not, they're 12 ounces. Great. All right, the next thing to go was uh, this is Sammy Fat Hair Zero Calorie Root Lifter Hairspray, sealed six ounces, rare, hard to find. Woo! Apparently. This is rare, hard to find sealed hairspray. Uh, listed at thirty dollars and fifty-seven cents, and sold for thirty dollars and fifty-seven cents. I'm sure Amy got this in an estate sale a long time ago. This was still inside in our closet in the ca <laughs> in the cabinet. I had to go go find it, um, but I got it. We're good. So I do have to ship this thing ground and put a special label on it. Um, it's the uh, the limited quantity. It's called a limited quantity label. If you Google it, you can find images of it and just download it and print it yourself on your label printer. Uh, that's what I do. Uh, it looks like the diamond, you know, with the 
black bars at the top and the bottom. And you have to ship it ground. That's the rules for, like, you know, perfumes and compressed stuff like hairspray and stuff like that. Next up is, oh man, more Chico stuff. <laughs> uh, the Chico's Design Women's Size 3, U.S. Extra Large, Paisley Skirt, Rayon, Fully Lined, Made in India. I don't know why that made it into the title, but it did. Uh, it was listed at 2546 and sold for 2546 All right, Chico's. We'll price, that means we're pricing it ex pretty much exactly where it needs to be at, at the we're at the correct at the right price, twenty five bucks. Uh, we'll take. What was our cost of goods on this guy? Two nineteen. Sweet. All right, home stretch here. A couple more, three more to go. Next up is this uh, Cartonnier or Anthropology Women's Size Extra Extra Small Petite uh, Tuxedo Dara Open Front Blazer. This is nice. This was listed. What does this say? Take off thread up tag. Okay. Uh, this was listed at forty two forty six uh, and sold for thirty three ninety seven. Here you go. This is what the tag looks like. This is uh, one of Anthropology's bajillion brands. Uh, if you're not sure whether you, the thing you're looking at is or is not an Anthropology brand, uh, easy way to tell is look at the find the RN number on the tag and look up the RN number. All Anthropology stuff will have the same RN number. Uh, Amy knows it by heart. I don't. So, all right, the buyer wanted, wait, what happened here? I forgot to weigh that. I forgot to write it down at least. That's eight ounces. Okay. There we go. Take off thread up tag. Where you at, thread up tag? There you are. Got it. Okay. Goes. 
Yep, no good. Better. Okay. That reminds me, I gotta order new gotta order new bags. And what is today? March 18th. We're approaching the end of the quarter. So if you have an eBay store subscription, make sure to use your shipping supply coupon before it expires. All right. Next up, this is a piece of menswear that I listed recently. This sold pretty quickly. Uh, this is a, let me find it. Here we go. The Paul Smith Collection Men's Size JPM US 36 Short Sport Coat Blazer Jacket Wool. Uh, this was listed so recently that it hasn't even been put into our sale yet. I haven't had a, I haven't refreshed our sale in at least a week or so. I need to probably also do that today. Uh, this was listed at sixty bucks and uh, sold for thirty-seven. So I'm pretty sure this guy originally came in at like a twenty-five dollar offer. <laughs> I'm exaggerating, but not a lot. Um, and I'm pretty sure I countered. I just couldn't take it. I couldn't take 25. I just couldn't do it. I got him to come up to 37. So this is like a super nice jacket. Paul Smith is, uh, from England. Uh, cost of goods on this guy was $3 and 27 cents. And yeah, like I said, sold for 37. I put it was a Japanese medium because all of the the you know all of the composition tags were in Japanese. Um, and I, I used the Google uh, Lens app on the translate option. I just took a picture of it and used the translate and it told exactly what it was. Hundred percent wool lining Cupro. Sweet. Uh, but the Japanese uh, market is uses different sizing. So that is so the jet like I said, the Japanese medium is like a 36 short in the US. And I, I measured it and that's what it measured out to. So all right. One pound eight ounces. Eleven three thirteen. Okay, and then last up is this uh, Eloquy women's size 14, 16, sweater dress, button front, rib knit, blue, black, check. Uh, this thing is listed at $34 and ended up selling for $25. And it's got a $4.76 cost of goods. There you go. This was seven ninety nine shipping to E California. Okay, I'm gonna have to try to refold this. A little bit, not much. I'm gonna have to. Just in that huge bag, that was no good. And I gotta try to fit this into a uh, padded flat rate. It's gonna be my cheapest option with this thing to, to California.
I mean, anything that I can fit into one of these bags, I can usually fit into a paper flat right envelope. Yeah. Let's see. Come on. Just flatten it out a little bit there. Sweet. Not losing money on shipping this time. <laughs> so the, we charge $7.99 flat for expedited shipping. And these cost $7.99 now on eBay. Uh, they're even more retail. And the padded's cost, like, they're eight seventy four, dollars So we'd be losing $0.75. Cents. This way, we're not. All right, let me get these labels generated and printed out. Okay, flat rate envelope, nine ounces, flat rate envelope, three ounces. Flat rate envelope, flat rate, padded, St. John, flat rate, padded, I mean, Fisher is 10 ounces, 12 ounces, round advantage, 12. Need to print the label, the limited quantity label for that. All right, eight ounces. Flat rate envelope. One eight, yes. Eleven three fifteen and flat rate envelope. Sweet. Scan form going. There we go. All right. Get myself set up over here.
exactly what I was trying to avoid. Of course it happened. All right, let's go. Put these labels on so I can get out of here. <clears throat> this is 11187. Seven six. Did put that in the right place. Sweet. Okay, one zero two three zero. Do that thing again that I didn't want to do. Let's knock my drink off the table. Alright, 10838. 10838. St. John. Nope. 7269. Okay. 10053. Okay, this is the hairspray. Ground. Yes, perfect. Okay. And this is the limited quantity label that I was talking about. Hang on. Looks like that. Like I said, I just downloaded the picture from the from Google and printed it straight to my Dymo. There you go. Seven. <clears throat> Six four nine zero. One two six two four. zero there we go all right i'm going to take all this stuff to the post office do all the bookkeeping and then i'll be back to talk about the profits please stick what are y'all doing hmm what? Rips. One more time? <laughs> Picnic. You're so sweet. Alright. Oh. Stretch it.
what in case I didn't hear you? I know, I know where the treats are. <laughs> All right. I'll go get you your treats. Bye. All right, guys, so I've had a chance to do all the bookkeeping, and we made $346.54 in profit for the weekend, which, I mean, it's not not bad. Not bad. Um, let's see how we're uh, – it's on the 21 sales that went out. Let's see how we're doing for the month just to check in. Uh, just under 2300 uh, in profit for the month. And we've got, well, we're almost three weeks. So another week and a couple of days to go. So, all right. Yeah, all right. Not too shabby. Um, thanks for hanging out with me today, guys. I really appreciate it. And uh, I'll see you next time.